A few months back I made this video where I investigated a scam ad on Instagram which used video of a Samsung smartwatch, but the product actually supplied was a cheap fake. Quite a few people in the comments ridiculed me for buying this product. I thought it was fairly obvious that I knew it was a scam, but bought it in order to make the video. Oh well. A few people asked why I didn't just make the video based on screenshots. Well, okay, let's do that now, but we'll also answer a couple of other questions too. So in this video, we're going to look at some more examples of scam ads, this time on Facebook. We're going to look at what happens when you report a scam ad on Facebook, and we're going to try to answer the question about why Facebook doesn't stop this from happening. So, here's another example of a scam ad based on stolen images and video of a Samsung Galaxy Gear smartwatch from a store called Daymail Shop. They're selling it for $35. Obvious scam, don't buy it. Here's a scam ad promising an i7 laptop which looks suspiciously like a Microsoft Surface. This could apparently be yours for the amazing low price of $38.80. Um, no. Obvious scam, don't buy it. Here's another scam ad from Facebook advertising an amazing folding electric bike. Can you believe this only costs $150? You shouldn't believe that because it's not true. This is a scam. Interestingly, on the genuine webpage for this folding bike, where we see the real price of two and three quarter thousand dollars, there's a note warning about the scam. Here's another one from Good Have Shop, using Samsung footage and images again, and this time claiming they will sell you this smartwatch for $30. Obvious scam. And here's one promising a pocket-sized laptop for $59. I'm not exactly sure whose product images they stole for this one, as there have been a number of pocket laptops floating around recently, but none of them is this cheap because this is a scam. So I've been noticing these scams becoming more and more common on Facebook and Instagram, and in the last couple of months I have reported 60 such ads to Facebook. So what happens when you report a scam ad to Facebook? Here are the stats from my own recent experience. Most of the time, nothing happens at all. The ad stays there and Facebook doesn't even acknowledge your report. About a quarter of the time, something does happen, and that something is, Facebook replies with a boilerplate response that they will review it, but they continue to show the ad and nothing ever happens. The response you see on screen has actually directly replaced their former, more honest wording of the same response that can best be summarised as, yeah thanks, but we don't care. And sometimes, just sometimes, they do in fact remove the ad. But that's less than 5% of the time. Our question was what happens when you report a scam ad on Facebook, and the answer is, probably nothing. So now you might be asking, why does Facebook allow this to continue? Why are they letting their members be scammed like this? Why aren't they listening to the concerns of their customers? The answer might surprise you a bit. You're not their customer. Their customers are the people who pay the money to place ads on their pages. And in the cases we've looked at today, those paying customers are scammers. They're not listening to the complaints of their members for much the same reason as the owner of an industrial chicken farm might not listen to the complaints of the chickens in the farm. You're not the customer, you're the product. That's right, you're the product. Your time and attention is being sold. Your clicks and click-throughs are being sold to Facebook's actual paying customers, which happens to include a thriving community of scammers. So what can we do about this? I think the answer is pretty simple. Don't buy anything from ads you see on Facebook or Instagram, and possibly other platforms. Let me make it clear though, I'm not trying to organize a boycott here. 
It's just that if you buy things from a dodgy marketplace, you're likely to get fleeced, so don't do that. And if you're an advertiser, I have this to say to you. I am your potential customer, but think hard about the context where I encounter your ads. If you place your ads on Facebook, as we've seen today, they're rubbing shoulders with criminal scams. Do you want me to see your ad in a den of thieves? I wouldn't if I were you. So that's about all for this video, but just to sum up, if you see a product advertised on these, or I guess on any platform, especially tech products, and especially if it seems a fantastic bargain, remember, if something is too good to be true in appearance, it's probably too good to be true in reality. I hope that's been interesting. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.